If you had to make a beef musman curry from scratch, it would take a few hours. But I'm going to show you a shorter version and instead of using beef, I'm going to use very economical chicken drumsticks. Now, instead of frying off the musman curry paste first, I'm going to change it up a little bit. This is a really traditional way of preparing it. I'm going to cook off my coconut milk. So you want about a quarter of a cup of coconut milk into a saute pan and you want it to begin to boil just like that. Now I'll add my musman curry paste, which has lots of gorgeous flavours ready to go in it. So there's lovely spices, ginger, shallots, galangal. It's such an aromatic curry paste. So four tablespoons and we'll give that a really good stir. And at this stage, you want to cook it off for five minutes. What we're looking for here is that curry paste to mix in with the coconut milk and then begin to split so you see the oil. The oil that is extracted from this is a key sign that we can go on to the next stage. All right, this is a key indication that we can go on to the next stage. See how all of that oil has split there? And it smells so good. So we'll add the rest of the coconut milk into our saute pan. Give that a mix along with some balancing ingredients. So some sugar, I've just got some palm sugar. To that, I'll add a good splash of fish sauce, which is going to give it the saltiness. And for some tang, I love the addition of tamarind paste. So a spoonful of that. Now we're going to bring that back up to the boil and it's as simple as adding all of our other ingredients. So our chicken drumsticks can go in, just place them in one single layer, along with some potatoes. I've left the skin on the potatoes. To that, some onion that hasn't been cooked off. It'll cook down as it stews. And finally, a splash of water, half a cup to three quarters of a cup, and that'll just help everything cook together, particularly those potatoes. Okay, give that a quick jiggle, and the lid can go on, and we'll cook this for about 35 to 40 minutes or until that chicken is super tender and those potatoes are cooked. All right, let's have a look at this stunning musman curry. Oh bubbling away. You can see that the chicken's falling away from the bone and that's exactly how I like it. And all of that fat at the top, that is a key sign of a really good Thai musman curry. To finish it off, some peanuts that I've toasted over the top just for a garnish. And I happen to have some spring onions, so a sprinkling of spring onions over the top. And that is a fantastic family dinner done within an hour. Some steamed rice on the side, Thai musman curry, served with chicken instead of beef. What a great idea.